So the three speakers that we have, the first is Ivanhoe Donaldson. Ivanhoe was a very active member of the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee. He worked for SNCC as an organizer and as the National Field Secretary. Uh, he was one of the key coordinators on the march on Selma in 1965 and was uh, just one of the people who was the anchor of SNCC, uh, as it was called, uh, for many, many, many years. I'll tell you a small personal story that I told Tammy, that, and that is that in 1966, I was the president of the Civil Rights Committee at the Great Neck South Senior High School. And we invited to be to, to a forum uh, Ivanhoe Donaldson as the field secretary of SNCC. And in 1966, which we may get to, there had been a shift in SNCC strategy away from sort of nonviolence in the Dr. Martin Luther King mode and towards a concept called black power. And so that didn't sit well that well with the principal of our high school who basically said, you have got to be kidding. You are not inviting Ivanhoe Donaldson, someone who advocates armed resistance to the power structure to speak at the Civil Rights Club. And we said, oh, yes, we will. And we had a great uh, struggle in the organ in the uh, in the in the uh, in this in our high school, which ended up having Ivanhoe Donaldson speak to us. And so, uh, I, as I say to Ivanhoe, every 50 years, I'm going to invite him to speak at something. <laughs> anyway, uh, since then, Ivanhoe also was a senior fellow at the Institute for Policy Studies and was one of the founders of the Feldman Group, one of the uh, premier polling firms in Washington D.C was active in Washington, D.C. city government and continues to be active in SNCC uh, and the SNCC legacy and archives uh, to this day. Second person is uh, our second speaker, is someone who's probably more familiar to some of you at, at Demos since she was a fabulous member of the Demos board. Janet Dewart Bell uh, is a communication and management consultant specializing in issues about advocacy, training, social justice, and racial equity. But during the civil rights movement, she was active in the, in the movement in the Virginia um, Student Civil Rights Committee and the Southern Students Organizing Committee, which was sort of an adjunct in some way or connected to SNCC in ways that uh, I'm sure Janet will explain. She's been a key strategist at PolicyLink, at the Opportunity Agenda, um, and a communication specialist for DC 37 of AFSME here in New York and just generally is a, a terrific human being. She also is the chair of the Derrick Bell Lecture Series, which is named after her late and uh, sorely missed uh, husband, Professor Derrick Bell, one of the absolute leaders of the civil rights community and the legal community supporting civil rights. Lastly, we have James Early, who's a personal friend of mine. Is the, I gotta, he's got a long title, so I gotta read it now. He is the Director of Cultural Studies and Communications at the Center for Folk Life Programs and Cultural Studies at the Smithsonian Institute, institution in Washington, D.C. Whatever. <laughs> he'll, he'll correct me, I have no doubt. Um, James was a, a civil rights and a progressive activist for years and years in the 60s and 70s, uh, was the administrator at the National Endowment for the Humanities, was a radio uh, producer and uh, talk show host on a segment called 10 Minutes Left at WHUR Radio from Howard University. He's been a longtime advocate for diversity and cultural diversity and has a tremendously interesting international perspective. Uh, every time I turn around, he's in Venezuela or in Cuba or in, the, in one or another country making sure that there is a real genuine cultural and political exchange between our countries. So I am delighted that, uh, that Ivanhoe, Janet, and James are here tonight. We'll have them each speak, and I think we will uh, learn something from each of them. Ivanhoe, let me start with you. <laughs> 